Okay, Dwayne thing back with another uh, set analysis. Uh, I just realized I forgot to post the ozone one, so we'll get to those really soon. And then, um, yeah, what's up, Jay? Came in here at a perfect time. So we are here to look at your set. I guess his name is Benson Obama. <laughs> All right, so Mario Falco. All right, so I'm going to be kind of interested to see what you're going to do. Do you... Um, I can understand if you're not familiar with the Falco matchup, but at least the Mario one, I would assume you at least know, so... Kind of get into this. He brings up a lot of good points. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I almost feel like he does that out of spite. Like, you're like, want to be more constructive, Braxton. It's been a while since I've watched you, so I can't really remember exactly <laughs> how you played. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll definitely see what you have. But we got a match right now. As we said, J and Bimbo. All right, so first of all, against Mario, that's not really a player that I would start off immediately with uh, the Clay Pigeons. Uh, just mostly because he has a really easy time just getting around them, especially due to his high mobility. He gets that one grab in, you're normally going to be like at 50-something percent. Oh, yeah, that was a bad misinput. Okay, that was a good use of auto-cancel. Oh, God, so many Clay Pigeons. Like, I'm trying to even figure out what you're trying to go for there in that moment. Let me see. What if there's some indie kid that wants to play Mario? Okay, support their own. They need to look up to... Ah, uh, okay, so you tried trapping him there. So, in a moment like this... Let me Mario, you mean. slow it down. Alright, so... Right when you get here... Um, you should just kind of wait for to see what your opponent's gonna do because he's already in like a good um he's already in a really really good defensive position and in that moment you should just kind of wait to see what they will do from here um if they're in shield most likely they're going to be like rolling spot dodging or something like that so if you just kind of wait for them you'll be able to punish it um or if they just decide to run up and attack you i believe you're right from right here in this position you should be out of range out of everything he could do out of shield at least he'd always have to drop shield before he could do any type of punish and then you know if he did that you could just run up and then just like pivot grab him or something like that um but yeah no i mean definitely just chill on the clay pigeons you've thrown out like way too goddamn many it's not that good of a tool <laughs> So just make sure you chill on it. And the other thing too is you should never really use clay pigeons this close as well. Um, if you get in the habit of doing that, you're just gonna see your opponent shield them all the time and just kind of punish you. Oh, that's not good. All right, so I put it back up to normal. Need to look up to their the president Benson Obama. Be careful with doing the up air to cover yourself here, um, specifically against Mario. So this Mario doesn't look like he's aware of it, but if he just did a fair right there and then he hit your duck poking out, you just get spiked and you'd lose. Some people who let me get away with warming up and I got free damage and then they did way too much of it. Yeah, yeah I mean, always try to make sure you... Um, bad, but not that bad. Okay. And I mean, always try to make sure you play against people that are going to challenge your clay pigeons more. And then just, if you're getting punished for it a lot, just try to just keep reminding yourself that you got to, like, chill on it. It's, it's just recognizing your habits that are getting punished are, like, is always, like, one of the biggest things. So it's, like, if anything, just give yourself a good safety. Like, hold shield more, something along the lines of that. Because honestly, against Mario, as long as if you aren't shielding towards at the ledge, you're not going to die from getting grabbed. So... Good thing to keep in mind. Yeah, that's a good gunman. Um, okay, so after you... Okay, so when you're doing gunman pressure... Uh, Jay's been kind of missing the uh, wild gunman reads, which is kind of Oh, like, wait, I think I uh, skipped ahead. All right, so... All right, so you're at 53. Okay, so when you're going for gunman pressure, you have to remember your main mix-ups out of it. So... This is good. That's that's a good setup for throw gunmen because you basically control everything where he's gonna land. But right. Okay, so if he shields it, you gotta recognize that you're not gonna really be able to get him with an aerial, and the only thing that you could hit him with is a back air. And honestly, a back air here isn't really gonna do you too many favors besides getting like percentage it doesn't really give you stage advantage it doesn't give you anything think more about where your opponent is so like if you did like a tomahawk like run back grab 
um, to catch him, then you'd be able to get that stage positioning throw him off, and you get a free lead, um, you get more ledge guards out of that. But yeah, and then he was getting ready to like challenge you with back air too. So if you see them, if you know that they're gonna like shield your moves, think about think about playing around that. Okay, he caped you, so that's why the clay pigeon went the wrong way. Like but either way, clay pigeon uh, up that close wasn't good. You, you have to know how to get uh, gun The other thing, too, is, yeah, I was about to say, there's kind of been, like, a lack of canned... Oh, God, God, that was bad. Don't... Mario's one of those characters you should never challenge with dare. Just... It, it's not worth it. You're, you're either going to trade or it's just flat out not going to work. It's just... The risk-reward really isn't in our favor. And then, yeah, um... Always remember, if you're death percent against Mario, just don't jump. If you don't jump, he's not going to hit you with um, up smash. Because they, they... Looks like this Mario is just kind of fishing for it. So if you just kind of, like, run around, hold shield, you'll live. So, careful about that. Okay, good use of down tilt. Oh, Benson just... You yeah, don't, um... Also, don't, like, um tunnel vision on your can if you're trying to move it if your opponent is literally right here and you just tunnel vision on that as long as they just press like the shield button that's all that that can movement it's always going to just hurt you so something to always keep in mind when your opponent if your opponent's near don't even worry about hitting the can at all just think about how it's controlling its own position and then just kind of just play against them with the dog himself has been attempting to read a lot of can options pretty much the entire time and Jade's not been letting him except for oh okay that F smash should have caught him but, but yeah no, that, that, that was a good use of that smash the other thing too is you're always trying to land with an aerial and that's not good um okay. yeah like that, that that was a good read but it doesn't work but yeah see like th there is no reason for you to throw out a back air your opponent was all the way like over here and then you were just going to throw out your back air into nothing which was going to make you just land with a crap ton of lag uh, if you recognize your opponent's away, just focus on getting back to this ledge. Most of the time, you don't want to land on stage, but he was far enough away that you could. Um, just land on stage and then just figure out how he's trying to approach you from there. Don't don't throw out something that's going to get you punished. And if you're always landing with aerials, they're just going to keep shielding and then they're going to keep punishing you. Just like you haven't been having like the best basing on your things either. And now you're starting to like fish too much with um oh, F smash. He's at a percentage now where you have a bunch of things that'll kill way more consistently. Nair, back air, up tilt. And then uh up air as well, so don't don't focus on the smash attacks. Like right there, you can just up tilt it him. There you go. Up tilt, hang around and then up tilt. Like your smash attacks, at least your F smash, that should really only be used if you're trying to close out the stock at like cheesy percents, like you know. 60, 80, 90. Mistaken, After uh, that, um, focus on things that are more oh, consistent. Actually, uh, ooh, okay, I got you there. Yeah, he was he was still close off. Yeah, no, the, the biggest thing is you always want to press buttons first. You're never just waiting and watching and trying to understand your opponent. You're landing with too many aerials. You're getting super greedy. You always wanted to just hit him with the F smash. What do you do if Lake reflects your can? I mean, the thing is, the if you ping the can a lot, the can should not explode in your face. So you can just kind of jump over it and hit him. And the other thing, too, is you have forward momentum with um, with Mewtwo if he's uh, reflecting it in the air. So it's fairly easy to punish. So reflect is really not the best option to go for as Mewtwo a lot of the time. <laughs> That's going to be... Are we saying that Mewtwo's down tilt is his winner at this point, then? Oh, wait. Alright, so... Alright, going into the next set. So he's going Falco. So, Jade, have you ever played against Falco or not? So I kind of want to know. Cause that, can give me, that can give me more context on what I should describe for you. No? Okay, alright. So, biggest thing is this. Um, it it kind of goes into what I was saying with Mewtwo. His reflector is really not that good. Um... Of course, if you're super, if you're right next to him and he reflects any of your projectiles, it's always going to be, it's always going to punish you. The biggest thing to know about this, um, 
Yeah, so the biggest thing to know about Falco is if he gets you off stage, he can just legitimately kill you instantly. So you have to be really, really careful about not trying to fall off. His uh, fair is actually really good at knocking away the can without blowing up on Duck Hunt, and that fair kills ridiculously early as well. Uh, he can also do like a fair footstool out of it. It's harder to do with Falco than it is with Fox, so it's not really consistent, but it's still a thing he can do. Um... So, and the other thing too is like if you throw out your can too early when you're recovering, he reflects it away and then runs off fares. Um, so, definitely it's scary to be off stage against him. Um, but the biggest thing is this. He's slow as shit. He doesn't really have that much range. So you can just kind of, you can just kind of play him like you would against like a, you know, a character with no range. So you just kind of beat him out with fair. Um, oh yes, yes, yes I did. Yeah, yeah. No. Fal Falco's bear is like really, really strong. It's frame four. The strong hitbox will kill you at like eighty percent, I think. I don't know. It kills super early. It's basically a frame four smash attack. So you have to respect it. But the thing is, a lot of the time they're not going to be, they're not going to really hit it unless they get like a good read on you. Like you, you kind of have to give him the positioning for that. It's long. It's quick. It kills early, but um, generally, as long as you're not really in his zone, it's kind of hard to get hit by it, especially since we're short too. Because you'd have to wait and land in bear. Because you can't... If, if you're, like, crouching, I don't think he can really hit you with rising bear. So we're lucky in, in that regard. Um, he has good combos. Combos are amazing. But the thing is, none of his combos actually kill. The only thing he can really kill you with is, like, back throw at the ledge. Because the that, that generally kills you around, I think, 140. I think 140 back throw kills. Um... um but other than that, you just kind of want to outspace him. Don't be afraid to use your projectiles, because if he's put in the reflector, there's actually quite a bit of lag of it. So if you, you if you use can, you can expect the can to be sent back to you. But of course, if you if you have a lot of ticks on it, it's just going to fall to the ground really quickly. So if he's focusing on reflecting that, then you'll be able to punish him pretty easily, because the can will just explode before it even has a chance to hit you. And then gunman, of course, you know that's just horizontal. So if you throw out a gunman, he wants to reflect it. You can just jump over and all that. So focus on how that Falco's using... You want to focus on how he likes to deal with your projectiles, how he likes to use Reflector, or if he just elects not to use it at all. So you can just kind of figure out from there how you want to position yourself. But the key thing is get that stage control. Just control that center stage and just keep him off stage. He's a lot easier to edge guard than Fox. Important thing to remember about Falco that um, from Falco, from Fox, is that only the phantasms themselves have a hitbox so at the end of his illusion he actually doesn't have a hitbox unlike um fox so basically the only thing you really wanted so if you're just at the end of that illusion you can just hit him there's not too much you can do on stage control matchup versus duck hunt what <laughs> it's back there you want to die down and wait to avoid the laser yeah, yeah, yeah so just make sure you do that if you do that then i don't think back there would kill you to like probably forever um all right, we'll get into this. He loves Falco. He does. Falco sometimes loves it. Okay, yeah, that was... He kind of trapped you there with the back air. Back air out of cancels. I kind of... Even I do. Okay, yeah, so you got greedy. There's no reason to go for the F smash. F smash wouldn't have killed him. Just pivot grab. Just pivot grab him. Just get that damage. Don't... Don't go through your smash attacks until you actually have a chance to kill them. Back air's at, like, 80. Gets you with, like, three points. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, I've heard that boy can was pretty safe. I think he had to get away from the gun. Yeah, see, Clay Pigeon got you again. Just when they're at that burst range, you do not want to throw out that Clay Pigeon ever. Okay, good F tilt. Okay, yeah. So you need to remember if you're going to. The weird thing is this. Honestly, at that point, I want to throw out the gunman because he can he can at least react. So if you're going to fair your opponent, and you're gonna run into them like this. You have to make sure you at least cross up. Like, if you cross up fair, you can, like... If you didn't do the fastball with your fair, um, you can just kind of fair right through them and you'll land behind your opponent. Especially, like, an opponent like Falco. It's not like it's DK or Bowser. They're, like, large. And then it's an automatic cross up and it's really hard for them to really do much with that. This game is, uh... Falco actually does have quite a few throw follow-ups whenever, uh... No, stop going for dare. Just all you had to do is just drop down, back air him. Down air. Remember, down air is only active for one frame for each hitbox. So, you have to have your timing like on point for that. If you don't practice that at all, which, like it looks like you're just going for down air because you want to, 
you're not going to hit it. And the other thing, too, is that down air was not going to kill Falco if he had his jump. If he had his jump, he's living that. He doesn't have his jump. He's fucked because it's Falco. But, um, you know, if you literally just just drop down bear, drop down nair, you would um, put him in a... You, he would still be edge guardable. I don't know if he would have been able to grab ledge from an illusion. So you just need to just make sure that you just keep hitting him off until he's dead because he he'll die at he'll die around ledge like at 100 percent to like back air and air so always worth going for normally been like fox mm, yeah so also like after you're after you're hitting his shield you're always trying to press a button afterwards so think more about that too sometimes it's, it's sometimes it's like better keep poking safely and keep retreating like the biggest thing I could say, it doesn't look like you're focusing on safe options. It looks like you're just focusing on options to, like, just touch him. Sometimes it's just tell yourself safely poke him until you get that moment where he leaves himself open. Like, just constant safe pokes, and then you just keep getting ready for, like, when they try to go in. Because Falco has to go in. He's he's forced to approach you no matter what. Pushing too many moves. Yeah, no, that's definitely what it is. That has good... Or at least the melee has shine follow-ups out of throws and up airs and things like that. Okay, yeah, good back air. Should be... Okay, yeah, you hit that can way too early. If you already grabbed the ledge, just keep the can there and make sure you wait for the invincibility to start wearing off before you ping it. So that way you can just get ready to just trap them. Yeah, you, you threw it out too early. Chase people. And this, if you get hit with the laser, then up throw will combo into things. Oh, yeah. That, thank God you're a dodge. But... Oh, I'm surprised I didn't kill. Very good DI from Jate there. Yeah, um, you have to remember you had your gunman there. If remember, just just try to bait it out and just like jump, just just jump at jump at max fair distance, and then if they get hit by a gunman, then you get a free combo off of it. That was very interesting. Uh, oh, that was bad to get because that was a weak hit of bear that shouldn't have killed you. Yeah, it definitely doesn't know the timing for these gunmen. Good spot dodge read. I know you didn't read the spot dodge, but good job. <laughs> If you notice that they like to spot dodge, that's the time you could throw out the F smash. Yep, okay. Seems like he has a spot dodge habit. Okay, that was a good trap there. You got the sweet spot. He would have still lived, but it would at least look good. Okay, good. Oh, I think that's supposed to be an F smash. No, 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 no. That, okay, so... If they if your opponent doesn't know the gunman timing, they're always gonna fuck up the lanky one. That's just, that's just a general rule because it lasts. It takes so long for it to shoot. So when that happens, you just get ready to back air him off, back air him off stage. So just just remember to tell yourself that. Okay, good trap with that can. Oh, you almost had you almost had the right ping. That that can actually probably would have killed him. The other thing too that you should remember, especially for Falco over Fox, is if you just keep the can right where they're gonna illusion, it's always just gonna send them off stage. Fox sucks because sometimes it can clank with his illusion, but Falco never. It, Falco's always gonna run into it because his hitboxes are the phantasm, so he's always in front of it. So just focus on pinging the can there. He can't grab it. He's just gonna be sent away. Oh, you were so close to getting a use on. Yeah, up tilt's not gonna kill just yet. You need a little bit more percent. If you, yeah, you had to ping the can more for that. Oh, that was. Oh, I could have dared. Yeah, the other thing too is when you're, whenever you're faring, you're never doing it at max distance. You're always running into him, and if you do fair like that, that's not safe at all. Like that's that's literally asking to get just a free punish on you. So. Make sure when you're faring, you're you're doing the max spacing for it, so you're at least getting a safe poke, so you can bait reactions out of them. Oh my god! I can now. Oh, oh my god! That 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 laser was so clutch. That was hilarious. That was absolutely hilarious, actually. Now of course you. Oh. Yeah, Maggie hands off Falcor. Literally garbage. Yeah. And overall, the Falco's bad, so it doesn't seem like he struggled too much as long as he played like some basic anti-fox things but yeah no, there's definitely a lot more you can clean up on there 
Probably gonna go back to Mario, right? Please, please go back to Mario. I don't want you to lose to Falco. Okay, good. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna be depressed for you if you lost to Falco. <laughs> Especially when I'm playing like this. You gotta, yeah, so definitely keep in mind. Um, so if I didn't see you put as much against Falco. Yeah, you didn't because he has a reflector. Honestly, every single clay pigeon should have been a free punish for Falco. Hey, Mario has a cape too, but the thing is, cape's worse than uh, Falco's reflector. No, there's a, there's one clay pigeon. He was a little bit too far away for that grab to be true, but I understand. <laughs> you wanted to, you get a clay pigeon off that gunfin. <laughs> yeah, be be super careful with your clay pigeon habit though. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's back air. Okay, good. Uh, now either. Okay, so one thing I one thing. Um, if you ever have a player it right here okay so if your player is ever around the platform area here the only thing you should focus on covering is just stay down here because they're probably going to land on this platform they almost never ever ever go to the ledge and if they see them going down to the ledge okay you don't have enough time to properly punish them just throw out a can and then you'll automatically have a setup to cover like all their options there so you just sit here and wait the second you see them jump get ready to just cover this entire area here because they land on the platform and air dodge free up air if they try to go up and you up air here you can literally frame trap them so there's a lot of good things you can do remember uh, mario doesn't have any hitboxes that hit below him he his down air you know the tornado that just covers his body up air is more disjointed it's going to beat it out so um just yeah just get ready to shark him whenever you have an opponent just like right around here yeah see now because of that you missed i know it looked like you probably tried to jump in up air there but an up tilt came out still and another F smash. Like center stage F smash that 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 might have set up for an edge guard, but so slow. Up smash is not a bad option. Up smash is like as long as you you feel like you have like the read on like a roll punish or um, the spot dodge. Up smash is not a bad option to go for, but just you know, use it sparingly. Okay, yeah. Now you're playing a lot more. You're playing a lot more crisp now. You're playing more avoiding. You're kind of short hopping away, so he can't really get the punishes on you. And you're, do, you're doing, like, everything you need to do against Mario right now. You're just trying to outspace him. You're making the zones, like, really, really hard for him to get around as well. Okay, good attempt with the can coverage there. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm guessing... Oh, my God, no! Why'd you do that? Ah! Okay, so... Okay, um, that, that, that whole sequence kind of tripping me. Okay, so... Okay, so right when you get this recovery here okay you got him with the fair that is an automatic back air i mean i don't know if you've messed up the raw or anything or if you i know you didn't get the full hop we got the full hop fair too that would have worked as well but if you had the raw bear there he was just dead like straight up and the other thing too is if they're on the platform don't ever jump above the platform and try to hit him um like this because that's a free grab for him and then you're at a percentage where if especially on a platform off stage like that like you have to be you're not a death percent for back throw just yet i think maybe at max distance you would be because with that much rage but um just don't let yourself get grabbed because he could he might even be able to do like down throw up b and kill you i mean down throw yeah down throw up b it might kill you but yeah, i mean try to go for the up smash see like that that almost killed you Now at that point, just if you missed your one attempt to hit him, just wait for him to do an action before you go up and try to punish him again. Um, so he can get it. But if he doesn't give you anything, then just get back on stage and then just recover, get your ledge guard ready. Okay, up smash and then there you go. Yeah, you have to you have to be so careful about rolling against Mario when he's just on the ground, especially when he's charging that flood because he's just probably getting ready to just like. Tech chase you up smash. That's, that's all they really look for. Also remember um, specifically with uh, sombrero gunman um, that he has a hitbox the on his entire body. So even if they roll into, if they don't roll behind the sombrero gunman, um, it will still hit them. 
and you can get a free combo off of that so always be always be aware of that property with this one whenever you see somebody like roll into him because that means you'll probably be able to get like a free punish off of it no oh, that was an up air that's the thing they like everybody loves going to that platform just shark it just shark it with up air like i guarantee you, you'll be able to get it Yeah, be careful with the going for rap jabs too. Yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah, you're kind of rushing him down, so be very careful of that because that would have left yourself open for like a lot of damage. And the other thing too is when your opponent's coming down, just don't immediately roll. Just kind of like sit at ledge, hold shield, or something like that. All right, I'll take a look at it after. Just um, just like. Just like hold shield and just wait for them to come to you, um, because like Mario's gonna definitely go for a grab, so you could just probably spot dodge and then punish him at that point. Either way, you just want to play the evasion game. You don't want to go towards him when he's invincible. Oh, that was a bad up there. That was a really, really bad up there. Oh my god, thank god, thank god you didn't get caped there. Okay, so after an up tilt, um. So it's like you try to hit him with up tilt, you don't have enough time to punish that. So all you had to do is just shield and then just at that point, I don't know if you could have punished that Nair. I think he was safe because he was going to cross you up. You probably just had to like at least run away at that point. Just run away and set up pivot grab because he's probably going to run into you. Yeah, no, no, bad clay pigeon. Just if when when you're trying to do these clay pigeons, just tell yourself to pivot grab. That like honestly, you'll probably get the same exact effect, except the one of them will actually work. Pivot grab him, you know, throw him. You'd get a combo off of that. Probably get him off stage too. Just think about more about what buttons you're pressing at certain percentages and what you can really get off of them. Oh my. Why? He charged that for so long and then you fast fell on it. Uh, there's also a platform right there too. Let me let me see. Did you do drop down? Okay, so. Yeah, the other thing too is you did you did jump from ledge. So like the second you see that, you could just jump again. You would have been you could have gotten around it. And the other thing too is you're trying to back air it, so no matter what, you lost that exchange. Like there was there was no way you were coming out of that on top with that mindset. Like, you just kept trying to hit him the entire time instead of, like, sticking to the one game plan you had of just, you know, just kind of giving him this interesting zone that he has to get around to get towards you. Because as Mario was always going in, like, even if you were behind, he was still going in. So you could have definitely played the patience game and just waited for him to... Um just waited for him to come to you there was like almost zero reason for you to go to him because you wanted to go in do super super unsafe fares you went for just a lot of really risky smash attacks that had no place to really be there because not only were there like safer options you could have gone for to kill but you know they weren't spaced properly and then even if you did land them it's like some of them would have killed some of them wouldn't have even killed so you got to think about like your risk reward what's really what moves do you go for during these percentages and what percentages do you go for these other things so just make sure you keep those things um super in mind falco remember his uh if they like to illusion back which they all do you just cover the ledge area with the can and then you can cover the on stage with the dog um because there is no hitbox in front of him so that can will always catch him there's no chance of it clinking um I think too is just learn to how he likes to use his reflector, outspace him with fair, you should be fine once you do that. Grab combos work the same, he's even easier to gimp. So learn just just learn how to edge guard like Fox and Falco. Like just practice like back airing and nairing his up E, and then if he's low, just you can practice daring as well. So you can actually connect those dares a lot better. So like that that's something you can do in training mode easily. It's worth practicing. Because um all foxes will always just like fire fox back, so you can just like practice and learning the timing of it because the thing is they firefox in the areas that um your opponents will firefox to because they don't firefox like where they would normally illusion they always firefox you know below at an angle 
So it's it's uh, it's actually worthwhile practice. So you can get the timings down. Um, let's see what else. Um, yep. Chill on the clay pigeons. The good thing is you did do that that last game, but you're still throwing it when you're right next to your opponent in these situations where you're trying to catch them like running in or approaching from the air. If they're approaching from the air and you throw out that clay pigeon, it's probably not going to work unless you see them land with an aerial or the like land. Just land with something that'll give them lag. That's the only time you can really get them with a clay pigeon. But, you know, if it's Mario, they're probably not going to land with, like, you know, Bear has, like, no lag. And then if they land with Bear, it's going to break the clay pigeon. Um, down air basically lands with no lag, so it's not worth it. Nair basically lands with no lag. Not really worth it. So there's not too many things. The only thing that he can land with that's worth using clay pigeon for is fireball. But fireball has to stale as well. Because stale fireball gets beat up by clay pigeon if you do the fast toss. And he has to land with the fireball too, unless he's doing rising fireball, of course. But if he's doing landing fireball, clay pigeon, that fireball stale, it'll go through it, and then you can get a free punish off of him. So you just need to watch the way that goes. But, um, yeah, just focus more on that burst range. The burst range is, seems like where you're struggling the most. Mostly because um, you're always trying to throw out an option. You're always trying to go into him instead of trying to understand your opponent. You just... If you focus on what your opponent likes to do in their defensive situations, like when I was pointing out to you, when he's playing Falco, he always spot dodge, so that's why those F smashed work. So like if you can just pick up on those habits like that, like what are their usual defensive options, then you'll be able to get a lot more punishes on him, while like your opponent a lot more solidly. So focus on doing your safe pokes. Make sure if you're doing fair, it's max base. Like max base fair is legitimately safe on shield. Like I don't think there's a single character in the cast that can punish it if you do max based. If you do it too close, uh, you know, there's certain characters that'll be able to grab you, obviously. And then, um, probably some other things out of shield. Um, like, like, uh, yeah, like even against Falcon or Sonic, I don't think they can punish you if you do, like, a, like a fully spaced stuff here. You should be able to cover yourself with, like, jab afterwards. Um, down air, if you're gonna do down air, on, you have to do it on shield and you have to make sure both hits connect. And then you always have to make sure you're going at full speed cross up too. If you land too close, then they can punish you. But know the know the frame data of your of the, your opponents like up tilts because up tilts tend to be the general thing that hits on both sides. And if it's too slow, then you should be able to actually punish them before they can do any physical action if you cross up dare. Uh, so it's worth noting. Um, treating bear is pretty safe too because that auto cancels. So you do retreating bear auto cancel it then. Um, Basically, they have to respect whatever option you go for, but if they run in, then you can just, like, throw out something and catch them. Focus on doing more pivot grabs instead of clay pigeons. Trust me, it'll it'll go miles for you. Focus on grabbing more in general. I don't feel like you were... You didn't really focus on that more often. You always focus more on physical hits. Um, think more about where your gunmen are and what you can get off your gunmen, too. Because I saw you throw out gunmen, you got the hits off of them, but you weren't really ready for them to hit. Um, make sure when you throw out your gunmans they have purpose and you know what that purpose is and what you can get off of them. That's very, very important for sure because that, that can literally be the difference of getting that stock or not getting the stock. Um, can you get tether grabbed at max? I say, God, no, you can spot dodge that. Tether grabs are too slow. Um, I mean, if they tether grab, spot dodge it. You can't, you can't attack a tether grab. Like, you know, if you, if you hit a tether, it's, it's still going to win. Um, how do you not know the gunman timing okay just go to training mode and just practice gunman combos then like that's that's so, you've been playing this character long enough that you should know that stuff like that that that's something you you need to know your gunman timings um remember if they don't know the matchup and they don't know the timings the lanky one should catch them um the other ones people are generally pretty good about shielding sometimes the quick one will catch them off guard um but other times the normally like i'd say black coat sombrero and the other short one normally people will normally shield them if they don't know the matchup but the other thing too is um just practice it so you just you're just confident in it like just tell yourself okay if this gunman hits i'm gonna do this just 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 force yourself Force yourself to believe in your conversions if they happen, and then like have a backup plan if they don't. That's, that's the easiest thing I can tell you. Um, let's talk about gunmen conversions. 
Oh, kind of lost my train of thought. Um, hmm. Shoot. <laughs> Let's see. So, gun link diversions. I uh, click pigeon grabs. But yeah, you need to learn burst range. Burst range, because you like to throw out too many projectiles when your opponent's literally right next to you. Because a lot of times you're throwing out gunmen when they can just literally just run up and dash attack or run up and grab you. Um, the other thing, too, is that... Um, also, in that burst range, you're trying to go in instead of trying to space away with your fair two. So that gets you punished a lot. Um, also, you know, you can condition shield pretty well, so you need to... Uh, you can just grab them when that happens there's problem and why i get bought by fox shield then yeah, 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 yeah no fox fox is a lot of def it's a lot of defensive shield can grabbing them because fox doesn't have that many safe buttons on shield um like you can punish up tilt super easy um jab's not safe at all um relatively safe four tilt's pretty safe so that that's hard to challenge um down there if he auto cancels it Nair, if he if it, the second it touches your shield, just grab him. Um, be honest, you no know, shield can just yeah okay. If you don't respect his burst options, that's how you lose to Fox easy. Like when you play against Fox, just focus focus more on just like learning how to to hit and grab. Like Fox is all about throwing away and setting up, but you need to learn that you need to learn how to throw away without projectiles. That's that's the biggest issue because like there's a lot of duck hunts that depend too much on their things like oh i have to keep hitting can but then a fox is just going to keep running up and shielding and then you just keep getting blown up by your can sent everywhere you're in the air easy way for them to vortex you so causes like all sorts of problems so you know that's that's definitely very important mario's another character with a really good burst range you know good grab um up smash obviously back air as well so he has he has great options so you need to learn how to just respect that range and just kind of play him play against him like you would with a sword character but you also have projectiles to assist you too just because our fair is that long just make sure you don't go into him and remember whenever you're at like 120 just remember mario's up smash and avoid the situations where you could get it and that way he's just he's just gonna, just gonna struggle so hard to kill you like it's just mario has a hard time with if you know how to avoid his kill setups which is like his raw hits um, but other than that, do you have any questions at all? Because it's basically everything. It's quite a lot, though. Right. all right okay cool so i guess i'll close it out here um i'm gonna post this on my youtube channel so you'll be able to find it there but